How's that for a contraption? I come in peace. <laughs> That's our duck work to pull the heat from the upstairs. Get this out. Is, we're gonna be a vent system that I come up with. <laughs> um, one for her office and the man cave. That's what this is going into. And then it'll hit a vent out here and another vent over here. And it'll run all the way down through and out the end of the, the house. This was quite mm. a blessing yesterday. We got majority of what's in his hand and on the ground there for a whopping $25 at Habitat for Humanity. We were like majorly celebrating. That was a God gift. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. Because each, like each section here, one of these pieces here, I think they're about five foot just about five foot um there each one of them is like eleven dollars i think it is right almost twelve dollars well on those vent pieces and then these the, yeah. pieces here they're like between nine and thirteen bucks a piece the stinking teas are like Almost 20 bucks yeah. for a tea. It's unreal. Yeah, so we got really lucky. That was a nuts. That was a God gift for sure. So, God blessed us greatly yesterday and continues. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be, you know, like I said, there'll be a fan here. And then there'll be another fan down in here. That'll suck that air out and out of vent, out the end. So in the summertime... Or even in the wintertime when it yeah. gets so warm, like in her office because of the wood stove. Um, I don't have to feel like my, my skin is melting yeah, off. Yeah, it'll suck the, you know, <laughs> the hot air out and suck it out the end. And in the summertime, pretty much you turn that on through the night. And the nice thing is those fans only draw like, I think combined through it like 40 watts, something like that. So I don't draw much. And um, you leave them on, open some windows, and then it'll pull that cool air in from at night. And then shut the windows during the day and stay cool in there. So. Awesome sauce. Yep. So, yeah. That's that. That would be that. We'll catch you guys on another one. Just a little fun in the Traer household. God bless. Um, so, I guess still doing the tin knocking um, videos. <laughs> That's my vent kind of thing. <laughs> Whatever you want to call that. But that's where it goes into her office in the man cave. And then um, it'll run out across. But I gotta put these vents in here and out here. Um, and I didn't want to call me cheap, but I didn't want to spend 40 bucks for two T's. I can't see spending that kind of money. So, anyways, what I did was I took the vent, and it just, it works out great that this is the distance from here to here that I need for in between these 2 by 6s on the ceiling. Um, that's the right distance between here and here that I'll, I'll need to put the vent in. Um, so... What I did was, I just took one of these boots and I took and took a piece of pipe. Where'd you go with it? Uh, I think all I did was, I just took and went like this and then drew with a sharpie up around the edge of the pipe. 
and kind of made a circle. Get your angle. <laughs> to get my angle on either side. And then I took and bent it a little bit and, and then I stuck it on there and traced out the inside of this, leaving about, oh, 3 16th of an inch all the way around. Um, all the way around the, the whole area there. As you can see in there, it's my, yeah, it's about 3 16th, a little more in some places, but, um, and then I just riveted, riveted, drilled holes and riveted that to this piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just caulk that real good all the way around and then um, she'll be good to go. It's one thing with this stuff, um, especially if you don't have a high volume fans and, and that sort of stuff, you want to try and keep everything sealed up the best you can, um, less little seeps that you have like on the back side of these, the way they're made, there's little holes oh, yeah. here and here, you know, and all, or your, on your corners, that one's a little bit bigger. So what I'll do is I'll actually take and put some caulk on those little joints in places like that. It's it, It'll create a better suction for the um, fans. Um, just something to keep in mind if you're ever doing anything like this. It just, I mean, if you have a high volume fan, um, high CFMs, uh, it's not as big a big of a deal. But if your if your fans aren't as have such a high CFM, um, might want to consider sealing up as much of that as you can get, except where you want it to come in at. So, just a. A little tip. Good information. That means that the non-MacGyver types can become MacGyver types. I'm very yes. thankful to have a MacGyver. He saves us lots of money. So I imagine that's all you've got to say about that. That's all I've got to say about that right there. <laughs> Alright guys.